I'm back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. I am absolutely fucking rooted today. My daughter just will not sleep through the fucking night. It's been like five days in a row now and she just will not fucking sleep. It's just fucking torture and I couldn't abandon my family yesterday because the doctors were here. I couldn't go sleep in another room. I could have slept in the hallway. That would have been better. But also, I can't just let my wife take care of the fucking baby in the middle of the night every single night because then I'll have to put up with bad vibes during the day as well. I can't be dealing with bad vibes at night and day. And if I only leave it for my wife to take care of at night, then in the day, there's consequences. So it's just easier, if you can call it that, for me to wake up at 2.30 a.m. and stay awake till 4 a.m. and then have jagged sleep until about 7 a.m. and then wake up at 8 a.m. and try and start my fucking day. One of the listeners sent me a message the other day. He unexpectedly got his missus pregnant and he wasn't coping with it well. He sounded like he was having a full meltdown and I was like, yeah, I'll answer that shit ask Monday in a couple of weeks or whatever. And I was going to reply to him, Something like kids are amazing or some some bullshit like that just to lift his spirits. But I didn't have enough energy to sit down and type out a long fucking thing about the wonders of fatherhood because my stupid fucking kid has just been cutting into my sleep every single fucking night. And the boy owl is not good without sleep. But don't worry, brother. It's wonderful having kids. It is just never-ending joy. Have I just been complaining about my kids all week this week? Or has it just been consistent throughout the entire podcast the whole time? But it is good having kids. Um, Yeah, they bring you like as much joy as they bring you. Maybe you've caught me at the wrong time to be like psyching you up about having a kid. Now I need to psych up. I need to fire you up about fatherhood because I don't want this leading to a fucking, you know what? I don't want that on my conscience. All right, fatherhood. What are the good things about it? I actually do prefer being a father than not being a father, 100%. It is, it's just a different life. That's what it is. You finally have someone you care about more than yourself. Well, most dads, not me, but... Most dads, when they have a kid, they care about the kid more than themselves. Not most dads either. Some dads. Because a lot of dads run away. There's a lot of single mums out there. All right, that probably didn't help. Um, when your kids smile, that's nice. When they smile and they laugh, it brings you, it fills you with fucking joy. It really does. That happens about once or twice a week, so... The rest of the time, um, yeah, it really isn't that bad. Watching them grow up is a trip. That is enjoyable. You watch them grow up and you're like, Jesus Christ, that is just amazing. You have turned out nothing like I expected or wanted. Who the fuck is, ra- <laughs> Who the fuck is raising you? I don't know. It's good though, I'm just like trying to be funny, this is meant to be a comedy podcast, but um, it's good, it's good having kids. You know, despite all that shit, I've never regretted having kids ever, except for like between like 1.30am and 4.30am every single night, um, during the day most days... <laughs> Please don't fucking listen to this. I love having kids. It is amazing. Just look at it as a new adventure. A new adventure. Think of it as like a theme park. Like it's a shit theme park. All the rides suck. And while you're there, you're like, why did I even come to this theme park? I am never coming back to this theme park and then like two to four years later you go back to the same theme park and it's exactly the same as the first time you were there and you're like fuck I forgot how shit this fucking theme park was and then you really consider 
heating up a knife on the stove and cutting off your own balls just in case you ever have to go back to the theme park again. Anyway, congratulations on the ba- <laughs> congratulations on the baby. So anyway, let's move on to this week's Conspiracy Cop. It's not Boyle Breaks History this week. We're back at Conspiracy Cop. And like all cops, I've done very little fucking investigation here. I'm just trying to frame someone. Save a little bit of paperwork. So the conspiracy I'm investigating this week is, did Hitler really commit suicide in the bunker or did he escape to Argentina? So this has been a conspiracy for a long time. And to be honest with you, I was just expecting someone to jump on the video and say, yeah, we've got Hitler's body, you fucking idiots. But really, there's a few fucking holes in the story both ways. My informants, the fucking snitches on both sides are fucking useless on this one. So what happened was the official story is Hitler took some cyanide with his bitch Ava Braun and then shot himself in the fucking head. The thing is, the Russians got to the bunker first and got Hitler's body. And the Russians took it back to Russia. Stalin was in charge then and didn't like let anyone see it, didn't release any information about it. People were trying to investigate it. The Russians wouldn't say shit. And then in some like reported phone calls, Stalin's like, I think maybe Hitler did escape to Argentina. Because the other thing was, a lot of high-ranking Nazis ended up fleeing to Argentina. That's conspiracy fact. A lot of fucking Germans ended up in Argentina. An Argentinian comedian I know, he's from German heritage, and I was like, what the fuck? What, so like your grandpa was like a Nazi, and he was very quiet when I said that. So... I don't know what that means, but I'm going to assume it means his grandpa was a fucking Nazi. So anyway, there was a big mystery behind Hitler's body. I guess it was like the Osama Bin Laden thing. Yeah, we caught Osama Bin Laden, we shot him to death, we said his prayers and just threw him in the ocean. Unfortunately, we took no photos. No one at the time thought of taking a photo, but we did save some of his beard hair for analysis. So yeah, just look into it. So yeah, the Russians didn't release any information about Hitler's fucking body or death or anything for like 20 years. People were investigating it. And also, in some reopened FBI files, there were a lot of reports of sightings of Hitler (laughs) in Argentina. And listen to what this one cunt said about these sightings. He's like, at the time... The Hitler moustache was a very popular moustache. So people may have been getting confused. And I'm like, what? The Hitler moustache was popular at the time? No, the Hitler moustache was popular before Hitler. After Hitler became very unpopular. During World War II, the Hitler moustache went out of fashion. And it really hasn't come back yet. And number two is, you think Hitler's leaving Germany rocking that stash? Like his aides are trying to tell him, like, Hitler, you've got to fucking shave off the stash. And he's like, nine. (laughs) The stash stays. But we're trying to go undercover here. It stays. So the FBI never really followed up any of those uh, sightings. And then what happened? The Nazis released a statement saying, yeah... Hitler did die by suicide, and everyone was like, yeah, we knew. And then someone released a book called, like, The Grey Wolf, detailing how Hitler got to Argentina in a U-boat and ended up, like, living happily ever after on some fucking Argentinian island. And a whole bunch of historians, I don't know what the fuck historians do, they debunked that theory. And then later on down the track... Uh, I think the Russians released, like, one of Hitler's teeth. Apparently, he only had four of his original teeth left, like a true fucking meth head. So, the Russians released one of his teeth or a couple of his teeth and, like, an arm bone or some bullshit. And they did some tests on the teeth that were released. And they're like, yep, these are Hitler's teeth. And everyone's like, how do you know? 
and they're like, and this is the evidence. This is the only real like evidence that it was Hitler, actually Hitler. They think it might have been a replica Hitler. Apparently, all the high-ranking Nazis had like seven replicas, like fucking impersonators. So this is how they matched the teeth. They went back through the old Nazi dental records or something like that and found Hitler's like dental record and, I don't know, held the tooth up to the fucking bit of paper or something and they're like, exact match. So legit, that's the evidence that Hitler killed himself in the bunker and the evidence that he ended up in Argentina is a couple of Argentinians saw some cunt walking around who looked like Charlie Chaplin. So I don't know with this one. You don't want to say Hitler escaped to Argentina and just spent the rest of his days eating empanadas and doing coke. That doesn't give you a good feeling. So I'm going to say, I hope he killed himself in the bunker. I hope he drank that cyanide and ate that gun because it would be very uncomfortable for that not to have happened. But stranger things have happened next week. I'm going to go into Operation Paperclip. But for this week, case closed. And that will do for tonight. If you're enjoying the podcast, share it around with your friends and I'll see you the fuck later.